Have you ever seen ice candles? I'm on the edge of a lake in Norway that has been frozen completely and now is just starting to defrost. And the ice in particular around the edges is starting to rot, which is where we're seeing these ice candles forming. The edges of the lake started to freeze back in November last year and for it to form in these spiky vertical columns mean there must have been a thick layer of still water at the surface and the weather must have been stable. If there was any movement in the water from a current or the wind or the snow was landing on the surface then the individual ice crystals would have been more likely to grow horizontally rather than in these weird vertical candle columns. So this is the thick layer of ice that was sitting on top of the water and you can see there's a gap underneath where the water is drained out and then it goes as it melts to these crazy crystals. Each ice candle you can see is a single ice crystal that grew and then became stuck to its neighbours to make the solid layer of ice. And that ice sat for the whole winter. But now winter's over, the snow is melted and the spring sun is here. It takes less energy to melt the bonds that stick each ice crystal to its neighbour than to melt the actual ice crystals themselves. So the spring sun is giving enough energy to separate them right now, but so far, not enough to actually melt them. The noise the crystals make is so satisfying, and it's sheer luck that I've managed to be in the right place at the right time to find the ice in this weird in-between melt stage. What a world.